In this video, I'll be making noodles. The ingredients that are optional is soy sauce and spring onions. This is just the way I like to make it. I'll be mainly using noodles with optional ingredients. You can add them if you want to. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have forgotten to mention I'll be adding garlic. It's been a while since I last made this video. <laughs> I have chosen sesame noodles from Demay Ramen. You can use other noodles if you like, but these are the ones I'll be using for this video. You can find them at any supermarket for about 60p. I got them from Tesco. It comes with seasoning oil and seasoning powder. First, I just boil the noodles, as usual, but I boil them plain because I'm going to add the seasonings way later on. So yeah, I'll be using the oil and the seasoning much later on. All right, so while the noodles are boiling, I decided to chop some raw garlic and some spring onions. I'll be adding the ingredients that I've chopped as garnish. I just think it's better. I'm not just going to add them in right now, it'll just become soggy and chewy and biled, which I don't want. I'll add them much later when the noodles are done. Alright, I'm going to add the seasoning powder into the bowl. I can't record and put it in at the same time. I need something like a GoPro or a portable camera in order to do this. So yeah. Just put the seasoning powder into the bowl for a bit. Then add the water. You want to like make, I don't know, make like a little soup or something. <laughs> Powdered soup. Just give that a stir. You can use any type of soy sauce, but I'll be using Blue Dragon's dark soy sauce and light soy sauce. Because I have heard using light and dark soy sauce together has a similar taste to M MSG. You know, um, monosodium glutamate. Very similar tastes. I just add that to the little uh, noodle bath I'm making. I just give that a little stir. Next, I just added the noodles in. Just let that soak in for a bit. I'll just give it a little stir. The noodles is like it's gonna act like a sponge. You wanna soak up all the water. And all the soy sauce and the seasonings and that. Doing this would I don't know, increase the flavour. You can add as many not as many. You can add soy sauce to taste. If you like it salty, add more. If you like it a bit more mellow, add less. I mean add more dark soy sauce. Now I'll be adding the seasoning oil. Add the seasoning oil in. It is a little hard to notice, but you might be able to see it. You know those orange um, puddles that were there. So afterwards, I just add spring onions. Uh, I, they usually are a garnish. Or they're usually a garnish in um, Asian cooking. And I like to add raw garlic. I just think it tastes better than toasted garlic. Because raw garlic, to me, it has a uh, stronger taste. And I just think it tastes good. Just give that a stir if you want. I like to add um, Chinese salt and pepper. You can either buy some or you can make some at home. If you're gonna make some, use salt, pepper, and five spice. Mix it together, 
and just add it in. But the one I'm using right now has MSG in it. Mono, sodium, glutamate. And that is just how I make noodles. This is just my own take of noodles. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the credits. And that is just how I make noodles. You don't have to add everything that I've used, so like sugar, spring onions, that noodle soup I made. If you want, you could have just boiled the noodles and just kept the water in. You know how you make usual noodles. But yeah, that's how I like to make them. It's just my own take on them. They're not meant to be traditional noodles, not meant to be like ramen-like. It, it's just regular noodles with extra ingredients to taste better or to look fancier. But anyways, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, give it a like. And as always, thank you for watching. This video was better than the flat chat video when I made with United Uploads. I messed it up. I did too much oats or less butter. Damn it. I'm not making flapjack chicken for a very long time. Damn.